We're going to do some shuffling of Final Cut Pro libraries today. Essentially, we're going to reverse the process with a little bit more tips and tricks of what I did to get these enrollment video libraries out here on the network drive. So here's our enrollment zip files. Uh, we're going to take a close look at those because we do want uh, to kind of maintain this naming structure. And uh, also notice I've got these things, uh, you guys are a lot of times are in this big gigantic icon view and it's like where are, where's the file? Well if you, if you switch it to a list view and sort by name, I've actually pushed this up to the top with the little uh, underscore in front of it. So cut it out with the giant icons and then also who's this person right here? Okay. Thanks for dumping that library in the wrong spot. I won't delete it now, but I will soon enough. So the first thing you can do is, and by the way, you can do this as a team member, passing it on to uh, the person who might uh, be in charge, or you may be the person in charge. You may have already been doing some of this, and that's okay. First, you're going to jump over to Final Cut Pro. I want you to go ahead and make a new library. Now, you can really put this anywhere on your local computer, but it's important that you know where it goes. A lot of us are still occasionally saving stuff, places we don't know where they are. Okay, You can put it in your Movies folder, you can put it in your uh, Documents folder. Uh, movies is probably the best, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on the desktop because this is just temporary. And then I do want to double check this naming structure here. In fact, uh, I want to type that up, uh, 01 STA enrollment uh, opening, I'm going to tab, command tab back over there, um, and then underscore end. So that means this is done. This is where we started, and then this is where we're going to end. So I've got a brand new library. Oh, I can't save it to my desktop. Okay, I take that back. I'll save it to my movies. That's a little quirky bug feature that I don't really care for. Okay, so now what I've got in here is a brand new library with nothing in it. And then what I'm going to do is take the, the event that I want and I'm going to copy that into this library. Here is events that I'm going to move in there. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to include either of those. I've got a couple of things that I would like us to do when we get into this new library. First things first is it has to copy those files. So I can't go jumping the gun on these next things. The reason we're making a new library and not just taking our old library and moving it is because I don't want this, these things we're about to do. I don't want you to do that to the only place where that media exists. So right now you're going to see there's a lot of, there's some background stuff going on. And so we're just going to let that background stuff come together. And then I'll come back and show you just a couple of things to do right at the end. Okay, my new library with that previous event copied into it are all ready to go. And I can tell that by taking a look up here at the background render area. Click on that and I can see everything's idle. Well, something happened when I scrolled over here that I really wouldn't prefer. So I'm going to show you a few things to do before we move this library. Okay, are you ready? First I'm going to go up into my preferences and I'm going to turn off background render. It's very important that I remember that I did this because I do want to turn it back on when I'm done. So I'm going to turn off background render. What that means is every time you put a new video into Final Cut it's going to make another version of it. We've got optimized media, we've got proxy media, we also have uh, when, when things are superimposed or composited on top of each other. So here I have a video clip, uh, a color, and a text. So Final Cut Pro has to build a new video. So basically it had to render all of that. So I want to turn that off and I'll show you why. I'm going to select the project and I'm going to go up to delete generated project files. When I select on that, I'm going to delete render files. I'm going to delete optimized and proxy media. 
And what am I doing? I'm basically trying to make that library a little bit lighter. So as soon as I delete that, you see this checkered line go across the top, dotted line go across the top up here. That's showing me that's not rendered anymore. So Final Cut Pro had rendered that and it was ready to go. It was in basically the ultimate delivery format that we were going to end up with. And now it's kind of back to those camera quality files. So we can get into that if we want to. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the let's see let's see let's see I can never remember where this is because I leave it set on um, let me type oh, it's under the browser menu view browser and then I'm gonna select oh gosh where'd it go used media ranges I really can't talk and mouse at the same time used media ranges so I had that check now I unchecked it real quick so you'll see what happens when I select this used media ranges um, I get that on orange. You may leave that on, okay? And then I'm going to go up here and maybe select unused clips. So these are all the clips that I know are unused. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to select all of these and then I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to move to the trash. Okay? Click OK. So again, I'm going to go through. I'm not going to do like a whole line of them because I do want to look a little bit carefully. And I may say see something that, oh, I, I like this one here when it came into focus, um, when we're shuffling the cards, that kind of thing. So I may save that one. Uh, so I don't necessarily have to do this to all of them. But essentially, I'm going through. And again, I'm cleaning up the library. Now, Final Cut Pro used to do this on version 7. It used to be able to make you a library that only included your used media along with a little bit extra media on the outside, those handles. And there's actually a program, I got an email this morning from a company that makes a program that does this, but well, we're just gonna make it ourselves. So you might go through there and delete all of that unused media. So I like to leave that used media on in the, in the view browser. Now, I'll remember where that is now. Or maybe I won't because I'm never going to touch it again because I leave that on. Okay, once you're done with that, then, well, where'd you save this library? Reveal in the Finder in case you happen to forget. And then we're going to reverse that process. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to compress it. What that's going to do is it's going to make a zip file. As long as that's compressing, I'm going to go back to Final Cut Pro Preferences. Well, I'm going to wait for it to finish compressing. But I want to leave that window up. So I'm going to wait for it to finish compressing, and then as soon as it's done compressing, I'm going to turn that background render back on, because I don't want it making files in those folders while it's compressing. I'm going to turn that background render back on, and I'm going to copy the newly zipped library into the finished libraries folder, AM, PM folder. Take your pick. That's how we're going to copy those libraries.